Fozzie, we've been in camp for a week now, last Wednesday feels a long time ago, but how have you found the first week? Yeah, it's been good, mate. We're, uh, we're building nicely, I'd say. I've just been having a good chat with John. Um, you know, from, from when we first come in camp, we're all probably a bit eager and a bit excited. You know, a few balls down in little places, but now after today's last, well, last two sessions, you know, we're completing sets, we're doing the process, what John wants, and you know, we're starting to look like a, a Wales international side. I think it's just, it's just about us. You know, we can look forward to you know the games we're playing, Cook Islands, Tonga, PNG, but at the end of the day, it's about how we play. Um, and from the training sessions, like what I've just said with John, you know, the last two days have been fantastic, and the process. It's building nicely, and you know when it, when it comes to probably next Tuesday when we are doing the captains run, then we will focus on the Cook Islands. But it's all on us. If we get it right, then we can only be happy about what we're going to achieve. Then. How does it make you feel as a player when and people are almost writing Wales off as the team in the group, and uh, you know it's going to be a, a long three games? Let them think what they want to think, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we're, we're playing. We're playing against probably the best of the best. You know, like, I think we had a, that reception the other day. You know, Tonga were in the world, but at the end of the day, for, for, for an individual like myself and a lot of other lads, we're all part-time rugby players. And it's an opportunity to test ourselves against the best and the best. And, you know, we're on a world stage. You have a good game, it's only going to do something positive for yourself, isn't it? So, no, I, I'm not bothered who we play against. At the end of the day, it's a challenge with whoever we play, whichever group we were going to be in. So, you know, we'll keep our heads down, keep looking forward. And like I said, we'll think about ourselves and nothing else. Yeah. Probably a, a lot more eager. Um, I think, like you said, mentioned about the 2017 one. I was only a young lad, you know. I was 22 years of age, and I probably didn't take it serious enough. Um, whereas now it's like, I'm, you know, getting on a bit now. There's a lot of us who are getting on a bit. So it's, a, like I said, it's an opportunity of a lifetime to play against, you know, the, the best in the world. Um, and you know, I'm, just, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm like a little kid at Christmas, you know. Cook Islands, PNG, P uh, Tonga. What an occasion for lads from Wales to have the opportunity to play against these teams. All the boys talk about the group and how close it is, and a lot of people have been in the group, the, the squad for a while, and know each other really well. From your perspective, why do you think there is just that such a, a tight knit bond and a camp that people want to come into? Well, I think well, I've been here since you know John's John's first year, so eight years ago, and I think. You know, you, you look around to the, you know, the, the lads in the team now, probably the older lads. I've been with them lads now for eight years. Reese, you know, Walks, Elliot, they've been together for even a lot longer than that when yeah, Yeston was in charge, you know, they played in the other World Cup. So you, you've just got that cohesion and that, that team morale where we just enjoy each other's company. It's something we always look forward to every year, you know, John and Mocko bring the best out of us. They, even all the backroom staff just love being here. The lads love being here and it's just something we all look forward to every year. A fantastic occasion, you know, I, I could happily do this every single year.